Hey kids, do you like chickens? Chickens? Uh... Wait, birds? Ba 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 bird bird bird. The birds are worse. Ba 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 bird bird bird. La la la. Wait, wait, hang on. I'm trying to do it the way. Chicken! <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to Toki Tori for the. Well, the version I'm playing here is the Nintendo Switch, but you can pretty much play this game on just about anything. Um, iOS, uh, WiiWare, your toaster. What is I guess just about anything. <laughs> It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle game where you are Toki Tori, who needs needs your help. He needs to collect all the missing eggs. Can you help him out? Ah, uh, we'll see. Yep, we'll see if we can help this Toki Tori. Alrighty. Isn't that the name of the character that the bird in Kirby? Or am I thinking of something else? You're thinking of Tori. Tori, uh, thank you. I I, th I think there's a Japanese word that means chicken in there somewhere. Probably. So anyway, meet Toki Tori, a little hatchling who just came out of his own egg, and, yeah. well, he's off to save his many brothers and sisters from, well, the harshness of the wilderness. I love how he's shaped like an egg. Nah, that's cute. <laughs> yep, so that said, um, Toki Tori's a rather simple fella. All you really gotta do is just move him around with the control stick or what have you. If you're playing, like, the iOS or the WiiWare versions, you could practically point on anywhere on the screen, and Toki Tori will follow in that said direction. Once he gets all his eggs, oh, wow. he does a happy little happy dance, transports out, and, Yee. well, you're pretty much done with the level. <laughs> now, um, this game is actually not that long. There's only about four worlds in total, each with about 12 normal levels. And every once in a while, you'll get a neat little, you'll get a neat new gadget, like here, the bridge builder. And guess what that does? Builds bridges. <laughs> wolf yeah, pack! Pretty much. Form of wolf bridge. Uh, now, okay. with Toki Tori being oh, a has anybody game, here seen has anybody here seen storks? Are those porcupines? No. I have not. And it, yeah, it's I, a good. One. I don't know what to call those, Seely. <laughs> those I think those porcupines. are porcupines. Yeah. They look like porcupine dinosaur hybrids. <laughs> mutant, like, yeah, mutant porcupines. They're <laughs> porcosaurs. How about that? Porcosaurs. I mean, okay. So, um, all things considered, um, with Toki Tori being a puzzle game. Um, at first it's not too bad, but later stages get do start getting rather tricky, and you, they do want you to use the items in a very specific pattern in order to, well, beat the level. So, and it's also very well possible to get yourself stuck, though thankfully with this version of the game, you can actually rewind, you can actually, um, rewind in time to, um, a point where you're actually, well, unstuck. Or if oh. you, or if you don't, if you, or if you feel like you fucked up so bad, uh, rewind won't cut justice, you can just restart the level from the boss menu. Hmm. Oh, wow, that's handy. Huh. There you have it. So, um, here's a little bit of interesting history behind Toki Tori. Um, the original version of the game came out way back in, like, early to in the early 2000s for the Game Boy Color. And, well, the developers were two tribe, but this was one of two indie games that were actually, uh, published by Capcom. Hmm. Oh, nice. Now, granted, now, granted, those two games end up being, well, they end up selling about as well as, um, stale hotcakes, so... Unfortunately, while they did get garnered critical praise, they again they didn't sell all that well. But to be fair, given the fan like it, given how well it did with fans like back then, some these developers actually decided to give it a second chance uh, right around the late 2000s, and well, that's how we got this version of Toki Tori. Oh, okay. Hmm. And for the best, for the for the best, because honestly, I think as far as indie puzzle games are concerned, this is definitely one of the more iconic ones. Hmm. Seems like it. Guys, a cute, yeah. Cute so for this stage, we're introduced to our next next little device, the telewarp. Ooh. Basically, you teleport and teleport within four directions, and well, you gotta make sure that it's not overlapping with any obstacles, otherwise you're kind of S O L. Ah, uh, makes sense. Now I have a question: Are sure. you on an invisible timer, or is it pretty much infinite as long as you get all the eggs? Uh, in the newer version of Toki Tour, you have you can take as much time as you want. So in the older one, it had like some sort of timer. Yeah, the Game Boy Color version, if I'm not mistaken, did have a time limit. Okay, hmm. makes sense. Yeah. I mean, for those that are interested in seeing the, the very original 8-bit Toki Tori for the Game Boy Color, that is available on the uh, 3DS Virtual Console. And he, though even then, they also did release the revamped version on the 3DS anyway, so A or B about it, really. <laughs> I remember when I used to play the Game Boy Color when I was younger. I had a pink one, and I remember playing games like Alice in Wonderland, uh... I think it was called Powerpuff Girls Paint the Town Green with the Green Gang. The Gang uh, Green yeah. Gang. 
Oh man, I had so much fun with that. What? what are, <laughs> uh, I, you probably said if I wasn't listening. What are the uh, the fireflies? Are those anything? Oh no, they're just they're just a stage prop. Oh yeah, okay. look at this. Because it looked like one was <laughs> following. Wee! Oh, no, no, he's so dizzy. Yeah, I mean, say what you will about the about Toki Tori. I mean, it's definitely got a bit of personality to it, and well. It's kind of interest. It is interesting to see a game in this day and age still use like pre-rendered sprites, yeah. really high-res pre-rendered sprites at that. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it just goes to show how how well the game can still do even today. Like, again, it got a it got, it got a recent it got a port on the Nintendo Switch like a few weeks ago as of this recording, and it still holds, oh, you know, wow. holds up pretty well. That's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in all seriousness, what do you guys think of what you see so far? I think it's really cute. I like yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like something I'd play. Yeah, it looks cute. Good, because if you guys want to give a shot yourselves, it's, again, it's available on just about anything, and it's actually relatively inexpensive. Like, you get it for around five bucks or so. Woohoo! Oh, well, that's not bad at all. And you don't only have the normal stage, but you also have hard, hard, hard stages and bonus stages as well. But, of uh, course, we're not doing just one Tokitori game for this look at. We're doing two. Ooh. Two? Two? Yep. So the second Toki Tori game actually came out a little while after like the revival of the first game, and you know, all things considered, this is a much different game compared to the original. Like you'd almost swear, like, like if Toki Tori wasn't here, you'd swear it was like a completely different game, like unrelated. Is it better or worse? Honestly, I mean, it's a lot more ambitious. I would, <laughs> I mean, I'd say it's a little better. But again, it's re it really depends on you. It, it depends on like how you feel about how this game handles itself. Like, this one's more of an adventure-style game, where the other is just a straight-up puzzle game. So, uh. ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aww. Toki Tori 2. Oh, oh that, that was cute. That, yeah. that is a incredibly big missed opportunity to call it Toki Tori 2 -y. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling Rare would probably get on their case if they did that. But yes, yeah. Toki Tori 2 uh, also, also came on the Switch and is available on just about everything. Um, oh god! Oh, what's happening here? What is that? I don't know, but it's it, but I don't know, but I don't like it. Let's have this wood block crap cover it up for us. He doesn't seem too concerned about it. Hey, chicken, who hear us? We forewarned this. Makes us sick in stomach. Get going. What uh, are okay, those things? Okay, whatever you say, random ancient frogs from the sky. <laughs> sky frogs. So he... Sky yeah, frogs, sky. eh? Uh, mm -hmm. huh. So, okay, so the major difference between the first two games is obviously, like, yeah, this one's a lot more... What? Like, this There's feels a more difference? Like an... I totally couldn't tell. Um, well, can yeah. Oh, the, the bird nest! Oh, that's so cute. So, yeah, Toki Tori in this game, he has a little stomp attack, and he can whistle, all serving multiple functions within all the puzzles that this game has to offer. <laughs> and Ooh. unlike the original game, which was uh, stage-based, this one is pretty much an open... This is pretty much one of those um, open world adventures. Metroidvania. Uh, in a matter of speaking, yeah, this is a Metroidvania. Oh, cool. <laughs> very, oh, that was uh, cute. That was cute. Uh, yep. That's just one of the. That's just one of the many dozens of Toki Tori's world, along with uh -oh. these big birds, which are well, they're they're massive kleptomaniacs. So much so <laughs> that if you, if you if they see something in public, they'll take it <laughs> back to their nest. Toki Tori's is like. <gasps> I feel rather uncomfortable right now. <laughs> so, yeah, I would the whole say story. a joke oh, like, oh, was... I got the shank. Oh, Did sorry. Did anybody oh, hear that, that squeak? Did anybody hear that squeak? Yeah, I was, I was pointing that out too. That's so cute. Uh, this game is cute. It's very adorable. It, it is. Yeah, I mean, personally speaking, I well, don't Logan, I get the shiny. Logan oh, wait, missed an opportunity. Shiny. Yes, he did. He yeah. Had, but to be fair, he has responsibilities. He has to, yeah. unlike us, who are just sitting here just looking at cute little birds. Well, you can <laughs> see this post at it, so. Yeah. True. That's true. So wait, so, what are we? What are we collecting here? Uh, these little. To be honest, I don't know what they're called. I just call them ancient doohickeys, and uh, <laughs> they're pretty much the, this game's collectible collectible coins and all that. And I know you have to take them to a certain well, and they do activate. Uh, they do, they're pretty much, uh, like, the activation key for one door that I assume you go into pretty late into the game. Hmm. Hmm. So be sure to collect as many of these as you possibly can, and see ya, Froggy. Bye, Froggy. <laughs> ah, crap. Oh. <laughs> the Froggy couldn't remain a distraction for long. 
But probably for the best, because we do need that frog up here. Uh, okay. Now, do be forewarned, like, yeah, it does It does seem all innocent and cuddly at first. There are certain there are certain obstacles in this game can, that can very well kill you. Like what? Like the giant ancient frogs that gave us that premonition. They're probably the most hypocritical bastards you'll ever find in this game. Oh, that was cute. He waved, he waved his wing. Come with me. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the hint that you've gone through a new gate that leads to a new portion of the ma world map. <laughs> and, God, just look at... I mean, I guess, when you see all these props, you can definitely tell, like, Toki Tori is a small little, see, little thing. Yeah. It is kind of <laughs> small, yeah. He's about, he's pretty much the size of a literal chickadee. I know he, I know he's a chick, but he looks like a kiwi. A little bit. <laughs> Honestly, for the longest, for the longest time, I couldn't even tell what the fuck Toki Tori was supposed to be. I mean, aside from <laughs> obviously a bird. Yeah. So why are those guys speaking like Yoda? Because they're supposed, they're basically this game's little hint system. Like they, hmm. okay, I guess I, it should also be said, like, Toki Tori 2 went through a lot of revisions since its inception, one of which was basically these premonitions from those freaking bastards, uh, bastards that will eat you whole if they look at you. Hmm. Either, hmm. I mean, even despite all that, they do give you hints on, like, what you're supposed to do in this game, because, like, not everything is exactly said to you, like, at first. Like, you, the, the game does expect you to figure it out, figure it out for yourself. For the most part. Uh -huh. Although every once in a while you do get like a... I guess... Okay. One other gameplay feature that this game also includes is um, basically... You know how in Ocarina Time you have all your Ocarina songs that, that yeah. help yeah. spin the game in your favor? Toki Tori 2 does something almost as similar to that. Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, like there's, there's a song that can pretty much let, that can let you restart from a predetermined checkpoint. A song that can make you... That you can... That, well, you can make a checkpoint with. Um, and... Um, and a song, and there's also a song that put that um, activates a bird with a camera, which lets you um, take pictures of all of the random inhabitants of the of the uh, Toki Toys world, including yourself. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Do they get like if you're playing this on your iPhone, does it like get saved to your uh, photo gallery? I, to be honest with you, I don't even know if this. I, I mean, I know the original Toki Tori is on iOS. I don't know if Toki Tori Two is. You know what? Let me check on that real quick. Okay. Ow. Oh no! Oh. Rest in pieces, you son of a bitch. You weren't kidding. <laughs> don't worry though. Those 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 fro those um crabs in the boxes though. I don't believe can kill you unless for some weird weird reason they end up landing on top of you. Yeah, that would be something. Oh, so do do this? Oh, I don't those, oh for a second, I thought he was gonna squish you. Yeah, oh, you had me worried. Do the butterflies do anything? The butterflies, um, oh, you mean the ones that light up? Um, depending on the level, they can, because they are sort of a light source, and there are certain levels where you're going to need one, because, well, this game is no stranger to darkness. Oh, no. Speak of the oh, devil. No. We're in a okay, dark tunnel. Oh. Look at that. Oh, oh no! No! Oh, no. 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 Oh, put it back in the light! No! I love how not only Toki Tori, but every like all the random animals can get can be just as scared shitless over the dark. Yeah. Aww. Okay, so um, having checked real quick, unfortunately Toki Tori Two is not on iOS, and weirdly enough, Toki Tori One isn't on the iOS store anymore. Huh. For That's whatever awesome. reason, maybe I guess I mean considering how long ago that came out, I guess they consider it outdated now for that system. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, though, I, I would say the most optimal way to play the Toki Tori games is on a you know, on a game console, especially with the Switch, considering, well, the fact yeah. that you can pretty much take that on the go whenever you want. I, I can really see that. We shall and stomp seem evil. They bring down all barriers. Just think it through. <laughs> Otherwise, we will eat you. <laughs> You're going to do that anyway. Okay, guilty as charged. <laughs> Seriously, though, fuck those things. Because the, the 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 ancient frogs, as they call them, they do serve a very important purpose as, as far as progression is concerned. But at the same, the same time, they're one of those kind of like how the green frogs are have a voracious appetite with those purple spider spider plum thingies. Mm -hmm. The golden the golden ancient frogs have a voracious appetite against you, hmm. which I have no idea why. But they again, they do serve an important purpose. 
<laughs> which, well, wow. again, if you want to find out for yourself, play the game yourself. And Vision... Uh, what was that? Visions of... Yeah, what was that game we just passed? A vision of something you'll have to deal with later. I missed it because I was yawning. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry, Celia. Are you boring <laughs> you with this, this adorable game? It's so cute. It makes me sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> You can be cute, you can be comforted by something cute and be sleepy at the same time. That's true. I mean, look at Kirby's Epic Yarn. A soundtrack so good, and yet at the same time, it puts me to sleep. <laughs> oh, by the way, this bird here wants to teach us something. Short, short, long, long, you must whistle. A priver, you, you should wonder. Blech, I screwed that did up. You just, did you say up a priver? Up priver. <laughs> I didn't realize it said hey, up priver. Did you pull a mat? Matt, I swear I'm going to... <laughs> You're never going to let her let that down, are you, Matt? I will never let it end. So, yeah, as was Tokitori singing that song, he poofs out of existence, and unfortunately Aww. we shall as well, for that is the end of our look at on Tokitori's 1 and 2. Again, I recorded the Switch version for you guys because I figured it was the most optimal way to do so, and it, again, if you want to give it a shot yourselves, you can get it on there, you can get it on... I'm pretty sure it's available on PS4 or Xbox One. I know it it's on, available on... Wait, you can get on Switch, PS4, Xbox One, your PC. phone, PC, the your toaster, your microwave, <laughs> your lamp. Okay, Matt, we get it. Or you could play it on your egg beater. <laughs> oh, man, the egg beater is my favorite console. Anyways. Oh, oh, enough. One more game you could play it on, your alarm clock. Get it because of the chirping birds? Yeah. You guys. <laughs> Until next time, everybody. <clears throat> Bye. Slow clap for the Sealy. All right, then.